Spatry's Cup of Linux. In this episode, I'm going to cover with you the Avant Window Navigator. You may also see it as AWN. Now, this program is kind of neat. In a previous episode, I covered Ari OS as a beginner's distribution that you could try out. And it is a boot an Ubuntu-based distribution that does not have the genome panels on the top or the bottom of the screens. Instead, it had two neat little panels, one with the indicators, and then it had a panel running down the side for common tasks that you would use. I really liked this feature. Now, previously, I tried Kyrodoc, and I have tried Avant Window Navigator, but I never really spent enough time to really explore them to their full amount of usefulness. And I decided to give this a shot. I played around with it and as you can see I have a beautiful dock on the top of my screen. I have it configured just the way I want it. It's really neat. I like the eye candy and everything. And so I'm going to take you through making your own docks and giving them that extra level of coolness. So I'm not going to mess with this dock here. I've got the theme that I've already want and I customize it to look the way that I want it to. But I want to have a nice matching dock to go with the one I have up on the top. So let's go ahead and create a new dock. We're going to just right click on the panel and we're going to say dock preferences. And then the dialog will come up and I'm going to say add dock. It's going to put one here on the bottom of the screen and we'll go into applets here and I'm going to go ahead I'll cancel that I accidentally hit the wrong button I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to start removing all of these because I want you to see how easy it is to configure and make your own docs but before we go into that I want to show you that there are a number of preferences here you can choose where the dock is going to set, whether you want it on the side of the screen, the top of the screen, or on the bottom. I'll leave it on the bottom. And then there's some styles that you can choose from. The Lucindo style matches the style that I have on top, where you have the nice little curves and everything, and it has a nice place where it stores all of your programs over here. Okay, I have this set as intelligent hide and keep it below. This way, if I maximize the window, it fills the whole screen. I've always liked that rather than being restricted to a panel being there. Uh, this is especially important when I'm doing video editing and nonlinear and a bunch of other applications that I'm using where I really want to have the full screen and I don't want to see my uh, icons at that time. And then, of course, you have a, a, a nice range of uh, icon effects. In this case, I have the 3D turn, and I happen to like that one, but I may change down the line. And then you can determine the position of the screen. I have this set to start automatically. Okay, if you use the Avant Window Navigator uh, Task Manager applet, you're given these options here. I didn't use it because I used a separate uh, I used a separate separate task manager okay and then in this tab you have your themes and there are a number of themes here uh, that this comes loaded with but you can also go on gnomelook.org and you can find a bunch of other really cool themes like I said I found a theme based on clear looks dark and I was able to customize it I got the colors I want and it's it took me a long time doing those settings. That is when you select the dock that you want, you just press customize here. And as you can see, you can tell it to use the theme colors that you already have on your uh, current windows now, or you can define them here by pressing these colors. And then you can set the color that you want and then set the opacity level. So you can customize everything here, and as an end result, I was able to get my top dock to look like this. We're not going to do that today, but you can see here, this also changes, uh, this also changes the way your tooltips look, your icons, and everything else. So that's in the Theme tab under Customize. And then, of course, you have advanced options as well, where you can select uh, the reflections. Uh, for instance, if I, if you look at the top of the screen here, I'm going to 
reposition the offsets. Oh, I'm sorry, this is on the bottom here. I'm working on the bottom one, but you can see the dock changing. When I put an item on that dock, you will see here that we can affect its reflection right here. See how it has a nice little reflection on there, appearing? Personally, I don't really care for that. So I'm going to go ahead and I want this moved because, you know, I'm, I'm, a, I'm nitpicky when it comes to uh, having space on my screen. Okay. All right, let's go ahead and configure some, some nice uh, applets for this. Well, I've already got my fortunes up here, so I'm going to go ahead and move this. But there are a wide range of really cool uh, applets that you can put in here. Now, I tend to like this a lot better than having desktop widgets. I'd much rather have my applications on a bar that I can easily access. All right, so how about a weather? How about the weather? We'll go ahead and put that on there. We can configure that later. We could put a places on here if we want. Actually, I'm just going to throw stuff here at random because I've got my dock up here set up the way I want it, and I really don't need any additional uh, items. This is just for demonstration purposes only, just to show you how easy it is to set this up. And another thing that annoys me is the weather applet is continuously telling me that it can't connect to the internet, but then when I press the button, it tells me what the weather really is. I, <clears throat> that drives me nuts sometimes. So uh, that's a bug report I'll have to throw into Launchpad, I suppose. All right, and uh, hmm, how about a media control? We'll add that. Maybe a log out button. I think I saw a power off button. Yeah, we'll go ahead and add that. Maybe a hardware sensor. That sounds fun. File browser launcher. Or did I already put that here? No, it's places. Okay. And then a file browser launcher. Hmm. Interesting. Those look an awful lot alike. But at any rate. Okay. Well, let me show you what some of these little things do. All right. First, if we take a separator and add this, your panel's going to have a different look. Let's add two of them. And then what we're going to do is we'll do two. And then two over here. See how your panel looks now? Well, suppose, just suppose, we want to have this fill the bottom of the screen. Well, there's another really cool one here. Where did it go? That will expand it. So it goes all the way across. There it is. All right, we'll go ahead and put this one down. And where do we want to position it? Maybe here. Oh, here we'll be fine. Now, in order for this to expand, we need to go into Preferences and tell it that we want the panel to expand. Now you can see that we have a nice panel that stretches across the screen. And it has a nice sleek shape to it. You know, it took me a half an hour to figure out how to do that to where I had these nice you know, rounded edges on one side, then on the other side of the screen. Um, it was all flat all the way across, and that kind of annoyed me. And I sat here, and I tinkered with it, and tinkered with it, and tinkered with it, and I finally <laughs> figured it out. So as you can see, this is a really nice uh, alternative and replacement for the genome panel. And you can really make yourself, make yourself a nice HUD for your desktop. 
So if you think this is an application you would like, you can easily pull it off of your Synaptic Package Manager or the uh, Gina or the uh, Ubuntu Software Center, and you can download this. You can just do a search for AWN, and it will show up in your list as Avant Window Navigator. You can find all kinds of really cool themes for this. If you have any questions, please feel free to fill out the form below. I'll be happy to answer your questions the best that I can. And once again, thank you for joining me, and we hope to see you again next time.